Oh. Oh. It's 10 o'clock. It's the news. Let me switch off the TV. Let me go and sleep. It's the war of the suds into Opayo as rival provision shops clash. Be careful where you walk. ERP to be extended to human traffic. And employers of maids are up in arms about government regulations. Good evening, and you're turned on to the news. I'm BBC. It's tuned in. And I'm Adriana. Wow. Rhymes with cow. A spat in a suburb has blown into epic proportions. Two provision shops, each selling a unique brand of household cleaning detergents, are at loggerheads as each believes that their brand is the better one. The Papa Provision Shop is selling Action Gent, which it claims is the best product in the market. The Baby Blue Provision Shop is promoting their own house brand, Apagent, and it claims it's equally good, if not better, saying that Action Gent has been dominating the market for way too long already. This neighborhood brew ha 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 is attracting island wide attention, as it appears to be more than just squabbling about washing liquid. Let us turn to our reporter Andre Chichak for an update. Hello, I am now here in Dua Payo, standing outside two provision shops, Papa and Baby Blue. They are each promoting their own brand of cleaning detergent, and the rivalry has gotten very, very, very public indeed. Excuse me, sir, what are you selling? I'm selling Opogen, which is a very good cleaning agent. Okay, thank you. Mic back, please. Uh, so, uh, tell us, why should people buy Opogen, especially since it is an untested product? I cannot deny the fact that people have been using Action Gen for the past 40 years and they think it's a very good cleaning agent because they do not have a choice. So all I'm asking is that people give Opogen a try and they'll find out that it is the best cleaning agent. Okay. Thank you, sir. You sound just like me, by the way. Oh, he looks just like you. Oh, yeah. And that uncle looks just like you. I'll uh, go over and talk to them. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello there, gentlemen. What do you have to say about your own product, Action Gen? Oh, you say? Let me tell you this. Oppo Gen is a dangerous cleaning liquid. Uh, since nobody has used it before, you might find that after using it, you not only damage your floor and your hands, you might also put your family's health at risk. Ah, uh, think about that. Trust my father. Use our product instead. Right. But what is so good about your product, Action Gen? You want my opinion, huh? We have every reason to believe uh, for 40 years. Action Gen has been cleaning your household. You think uh, you want to take the risk? The risk, your house and your family? You switch to a potion, you die. Uh. Well, enough said about these two brands. It all boils down to this, a showdown. And on my left, from Papa's shop, we have Yusuf with Action Gen. And on my right, we have James from Baby Blues with Oppogent. And also joining us today from the Heartlands, we have an auntie and a honey. Heartland auntie, Heartland honey. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have to say about their woes. Auntie? My son studied at Raffles Institution. His uniform is all white, but he sweat like a melting ice in the Sahara Desert every day. Look at this. His uniform is all stained and dirty. I just can't keep it white. Not to worry, madam. Action Gen will wash all your wounds away. We guarantee to give you whiter than white. So far, for the past 40 years, uh, nobody has complained about our white formula. No one can complain and no one will. <laughs> it's time, people, for some action and party! Huh? Wow, that's exciting. So, what about your woes, Heartland Honey? I've tried all the other detergents that promise to give you whiter than white, everlasting white, pure white, and what have you, but none of them can give me the results I need. My life is in a mess. How am I supposed to go out in this white, dirty, Gucci dress? 
Here is where Opogen will tackle all your laundry woes and open your eyes to a new formula that will solve all your problems. Honestly, there is no detergent that will give you whiter than white. So, we're going to offer you alternative solution. We will bring out all the colours in your white. Mm. Honestly, he sounds just like me. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at Action Gen's results. Ta-da! You see, Action Gen got talk, got action. As promised, it's whiter than white. Oh, you see. How about you, Heartland Honey? Wow, my pretty white Gucci dress has been given a new lease of life. Look, it's a pretty grey one. You never know what you get until you stick your fingers in the cookie jar. Right, there you have it ladies and gentlemen. The results prove that Oppogen will offer you something new if you dare to try it, while ActionGen maintains its 40-year guarantee with its whiter-than-white solution to your cleaning problems, even if it means you have no bloody idea what the hell you're wearing. This is Andre Chichak reporting for The News. As the price of oil continues to soar, people in Singapore are changing their travel habits. Long-time car owners are switching to public transport in droves, and some have even been moved to their feet, literally, as they take to walking. Let's join Jojo Joget for a special feature on this new phenomenon, which has transformed the face of outdoor Singapore. After months of exhorting Singaporeans to take to the streets, the government has woken up to the realisation that it must deal with the overwhelming success of its pro-pedestrian policy. And fast. Introducing the pedestrian gantry system, the brainchild of the Ministry with a portfolio, to be installed at selected locations, beginning with the CBD, this new gantry system is a revolutionary system designed to lessen the pedestrian traffic along crowded locations. In the recent past, our focus was getting uh, more people to switch from driving to using public transport. But now we are getting very worried also because uh, we find that as more people are using uh, bus and uh, uh, MRT, there's heavier human traffic, you know, because people are walking from their house and their office to the MRT station and the bus station. And uh, we also find that uh, the optimal pedestrian speed of one person has dropped from uh, 5 km per hour now to 500 meters per hour now. Of course, this is unacceptable to us because uh, we pride you know, ourselves as to be a very efficient country, right? So that's why now we implement this system. It's called the human ERP system. Now, if you cannot remember, you can remember the short form. It's called herpes. Beginning next month, pedestrians will have to wear an IU device similar to the in-vehicle cash card device for ERPs. Dub the pedometer. Huh? Wong also kind ERP. I think it's about time. It's getting so crowded everywhere in Singapore. Now at least there's more space to walk. This is ridiculous, man. This is only for daytime and peak periods only, right? No wonder our ministers walk about and meet the people session on either late at night or on weekends. The ministry without portfolio will continue to monitor to ensure that both pedestrian and street traffic are maintained at sensible limits and to expand the pedestrian gantry if necessary. This is... Jojo Joget reporting for the news. A masterstroke if you ask me. Time now for a quick commercial break. But when we come back... <gasps> A protest in Singapore, oh my. Oh, wow. Welcome back, you're turned on to the news. It's tuned in. I said that. No, you didn't. I did. <clears throat> a mini protest was held today outside the Ministry of Foreign Workers by a group of very disgruntled employers. And their gripe? Their domestic workers got pregnant on their day off. And now the ministry wants to punish them instead of the domestic helpers. 
According to local employment laws, an employer pays a deposit to the government to ensure that their maids behave well. This is easy enough when the maids are working at home, but what about their behaviour on their days off? Here's Jacques Wee. It's not fair. Change the law. It's not fair. Change the law. I am standing in front of the Ministry of Foreign Workers where a protest is underway. Let's speak to someone. Madam, Madam, what? I'm Mrs. Tan. Mrs. Tan, um, what are you protesting about? I, you, I tell you, I'm supporting. You know what happened or not? I give my maid uh, Sunday off because she said every Sunday need to go to church and play the organ. Then she play, 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 and you're pregnant. Uh. Oh, pregnant. Um, she must be very happy. Happy? Your head. Uh. I tell you, now the government uh, not only want to send her home, the government want to confiscate my $5,000 deposit. How come like that? I also don't understand. I mean, why should I take responsible for something she do outside my house on her own? Well, this is indeed a bit of a legal conundrum. So we have with us today a legal expert, Mr. Sam Tamales, who will make a comment on this unique rule regarding an employer's responsibility over his maid during her day off. Hello, Mr. Sam Tamales. Hello. Firstly, I would like to say, ignore these buggers behind. Secondly, the government has made it very clear the maid is the employer's responsibility 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But Sam, it doesn't seem to make sense that the employer has to be responsible for his maid when she's out on her own on her day off. The maid gets pregnant on a Sunday in a cheap hotel. Why is it the employer the one who stands to lose $5,000? Let me tell you this. Huh? It makes perfect sense simply because it is the law and the law is always right. Therefore, it must be right. So Sam, what you are saying is that if a person has ultimate oversight of a responsibility, he is deemed culpable if something goes wrong even though he is not directly involved? Correct. Well said, I guess. Change Thank the you. Not the She's still there. Back to the studio. This is Jack as we for the noobs. Love it or hate it, you can't deny the fact that rap music has become one of the world's most popular and influential art forms. What started out as a way of expression in Africa, Ireland and northern Calcutta has spread its wings across the US, Kuala Lumpur and even Pyongyang. Even local government institutions in Singapore have embraced what people think rap stands for. Retarded, angry, people. Go, 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 it's April Fool's Day. We ain't gonna party like it's your birthday. We gonna drink OPO oh, like it's your birthday. And I know you don't give a f it's my birthday. Find me in the club, having my kebab. Look, mommy, I is the black society, king of Amok your hub. I'm into robbing grannies, into paying tax. Aunties pay me go cut when they want their husband's hack. Right. Joining us in the studio today is Singapore's very own rapper extraordinaire. He's produced three albums which have sold more than 30 copies worldwide. Welcome, Gorkak! Thanks, yo. Thanks. Yo, a yo. Yo, a yo. Yo, right. Okay, so, um, Gorkak, tell us more about the moniker, Gorkak. Moni, what? You speak English, yo? Yeah, who's Monica? No, the. Please explain your name. Oh, you always want to know about my name, yo. All right, I tell you about my name. Goka actually means 50 cents in Hokkien. I is used to come from a black society. I go around asking people for money like this. Goka, Goka, ah, Goka, Goka. That is how I got my name, Goka. It's the American rapper, 50 cents. Yo, yo, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, um, Gorkak, tell us, how did you enter the world of rap music? The clothes, the uh, music, isn't it a very American thing? Hey, I just asked you a question. 
You is eat hamburger? You is American? No, actually, I'm British. Yo, my point exactly, yo. Hey, wait a minute. But I'm American and I eat burgers. You is one hot, sexy American mama, yo. Gee, thanks, but I'm not married yet. <laughs> well, anyway, moving along, um, you know, life in Singapore isn't really that bad. Surely you don't have as much to complain about as those people from the ghettos. I tell you, I used to live in Taman Jurong, yo. That place is like the Longkang, yo. Longkang? Projects, yo. Oh. It's all about survival, yo. The West Coast is a tough place to grow up, yo. When I was in school, yo, I was shot 11 times. <gasps> what? By paper bullets. But I bounced back. I survived, yo. That was my inspiration, yo, to speak out against the injustice of the system, yo. Okay, so Gorgak, tell us more about your plans for the future, your new album, tour. I am producing now an album for a father and son rap duo, and it's called Down With The OPP. You get it? Down With The OPP, yo. Yeah, you know me. Yeah, you know me. Yes, down, down With, with the, the OPP. OPP. Oh, hi, yeah, I, you know that's me. Enough. I believe um, that's all the time we have um, with Gorkak. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yo, a yo, yo, a yo. Yes, time for a little timeout, not the chocolate bar. Um, after the break, um, Jojo Joget gets cozy with DVD Pirates and JB. Stick around. <laughs> Back to the news. Amidst all the recent buzz about Malaysia ending its petrol subsidies for Malaysian citizens, as well as not allowing Singaporeans to purchase the cheaper petrol across the border, a small but important announcement has been made that will severely impact the hordes of Singaporeans who travel across the border every day. The news of further subsidy cuts have rocked consumers both in the Malaysian Peninsula and Singapore. The Pirate Paikia Association of Malaysia, PPKM, who for years has subsidized the heavy costs of purchasing movie DVDs and VCDs from Hollywood and Hong Kong, has announced recent drastic measures to cope with the changing times. Here's Jojo Joget with the latest. For years now, Singaporean and Malaysian alike have been shopping for the latest DVDs and VCDs at highly discounted prices all across the country. However, all this is set to change as new measure by the Malaysian government to cut petrol subsidies and end purchase of cheaper petrol by Singaporeans has prompted the Pirate Paikia Association of Malaysia, or better known as PPKM, to announce that they too will follow government policy to increase prices. Yeah, with me now is Mr. Lim Along, uh, President of the PPKM, one of the key figures uh, who have taken drastic measures to increase the cost of purchasing DVD and VCDs. Uh, Mr. Lim, uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, why is your association uh, decided to take this drastic measure to increase the price? Hey, you think what? You think we don't support the Malaysia government, is it? Huh? Oh, you Singaporean, uh, only know how to come here and take our thing. First you take our water, then you take our petrol, then our sand also you want to take. Oh, last time uh, we said never mind, uh, because we give you a little bit discount here, discount there. But now, uh, we have the clear direction from the government. Uh, no more subsidy for you. <laughs> so does this mean that the Malaysian can buy this uh, high quality DVD and VCD at discounted price? Oh, uh, actually no. Uh, they also have to pay the same high price. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, Mr. Lim. So it seems like this is just a general price hike to maintain profits. Uh -huh. uh, or better, you know, you, it's a way to make better profits. Uh. Got nothing to do with the changing time. Hey, before I get my guys to go to your house to visit you, you better shut up. Uh. We are just following in the government example. Okay, your government also say much. Singapore government also increase everything. Increase the ERP, increase the taxi, increase the rice. Everything also increase. Right? So why you come here and complain about our business method? Huh? Why you scared to complain about your own Singapore government, is it? Huh? Scared? Uh, 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 <laughs> that's all from me, Jojo Joget, reporting for the news. <laughs> why you scared? No, no, no. You scared? No, no. You scared? You scared? No. Time now for a quick weather update with Tan Tertio. Hello, hello. Uh, okay, 
Ah, ha, thank you, uh, J, Adri, uh, Anna, and uh, Bibi. Ha, huh? ah, uh, hello, uh, brother, sister, uh, uncle, auntie, ah, uh, uh, grandfather, grandmother, sister, in law how are you? Ah, uh, okay, good, good. Ah, uh, Josevo, ah, uh, good, good, good. All right, ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, let me now get to serious business, huh? Ah, uh, let me now give you the Singapore weather report. Ah, uh, the weather. Please, nah. oh, let, let, come, come. I, I, let me discuss with you something. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what are you expecting from the Singapore weather? Huh? Tomorrow, let's say. Oh, snow. Huh? You're expecting snow? Huh? Or, or 20 degrees Celsius? Huh? Please. Nah. Oh, Singapore, the air combat also no 20 degrees Celsius. No? Also 30 degrees Celsius. You know? huh? See, you all caught into uh, paying the extra money uh, for the air combat then? Bo air con. How can I that? Huh? Actually, let me be more steady. Huh? Let me now show you the Singapore weather report for the three next 300 years. Huh? The next 300 years is soon huh? hot, humid. Then, next 300 years, Queenstown, hot, humid. And then you move to the Jurong West, 300 years, Monday or Thursday, hot, humid. And then you go to Pasiris, repeat after me, hot, humid. Yes, very good. So I think after I do this, uh, the, the, the TV show can just play, repeat, repeat this every day. Uh, huh? Because the weather all the same one. Uh. Uh, uh, so just remember, before I go, I give you a piece of advice. Huh? In Singapore, don't listen to the newspaper, say you are sloppy dresser. In Singapore, it's very hot, wear less. Actually, don't wear even better. Huh? But don't wear cannot huh, after the police catch. So wear, uh, wear, wear very little. Lah, huh? And if you are a girl, uh, they call it smith sexy dressing. Huh? So be sexy. Huh? Sexy, sexy, uh, steady pum, pee pee. Wee wee. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. It's right, it's right. Okay, I know, I know. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the next 300 years, you will see this same show. Uh, so uh, good night. And I'll pass it over now to my Jakantang friend, Ip Potato, Adriana and uh, Bibi. Thank you, Tanto Tio. That's it for this edition of the news. Please remember to check our website for more news updates. And my personal website too. Well, be sure to join us next week. Till then, I'm Adriana. Wow. And BBC, signing off. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Down with OPP, yeah, you know me. Down with OPP, yeah, you know me. Down with OPP. A MediaCorp Studios production for Channel 5.